and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you are new here please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button for my people who have been coming thank you so much i definitely appreciate the support but in today's video we are going to be talking about puff vinyl so i saw this on tiktok instagram I can't remember I saw it on either TikTok or Instagram with this file and the puff vinyl um now this file did come from creative fabrica I will have a link down below if you don't have a creative fabrica account um I know at one point they did have you could join for a dollar and then every month after that it was $19 now I'm not sure if that deal is still going on I will double check and I will have that information in the description box but in the event that it's not it is $19 a month and you get access to literally millions of files like this one of them they have the AI or the um is it the AI the color spark I don't know it's so much stuff on there I haven't gotten into the whole AI yet but that is on there um but yeah i'll leave a link if you want to join down below but i will also leave a link to this file now if you pay the 19 dollars a month you do get to download this for free because it's it's already included in that 19 dollars membership if you do not then you would just have to purchase this file for however much it costs um but yeah i did get this file on creative fabrica the bottom part is glitter vinyl re regular glitter vinyl and then i have three layer colors lilac uh, silver and white layered puff okay I got my puff vinyl from heat transfer warehouse and I got my glitter vinyl from heat transfer warehouse and the Bella camp of shirt from heat transfer warehouse all of the links for all of my materials files everything like that will be in the description box so please make sure you check that but yeah we're gonna be talking about puff how to layer and how to work with this file in Cricut I will go into Cricut design space and show you how to work with this file as well okay so that's what we're doing today so go ahead stick around all right guys so we're gonna start off in Cricut here so that I can show you how to prep this file now I did get this file from creative Fabrica um so what I'm gonna do and then all of these colors that you see here that's all gonna be puff and then the black color is going to be a glitter vinyl so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my canvas black because I'm gonna be putting this on a black shirt so i just want to make sure that i can see the colors and i know what i'm doing so i'm going to go ahead and select it and then we have to ungroup this so that we can kind of arrange the colors here so the first one i'm going to select is the black obviously it can't stay black so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to use um like a dark purple glitter for that one okay and now the rest of these are going to be puff now i don't have a whole lot of colors so I do have a lilac color, which is about that color. Um, I have a silver metallic. So I'm going to turn that one metallic. I want this middle piece here to be white. I do have a white color and then I'm going to repeat those. So here I'm actually going to do silver again. And all I'm doing is selecting the file and changing the color. And then this one is going to be lilac, okay? So this is going to be how my colors are going to look. I have two lilacs, two silvers, a white, and then this bottom is gonna be a dark um, purple glitter, okay? So what I wanna do, because I want, like, I want the puff vinyl to be pressed and it as little presses as possible, so what I'm going to do is, and you know, this is a little bit wasteful in regards to vinyl, but I'm okay with that just because it makes it so that I can press it, the, the pub vinyl, um, not that often or not that many times, because if you press each one of these, then once you press this piece of vinyl, you're going to have to press this one and this one and this one. So you're essentially going to be pu pressing this one four more times. Okay. So I want to cut that number back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this purple, this lilac, hold down my shift key, and I'm going to select this lilac. And I'm going to attach those because I want them to cut as one piece. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the silver. 
and the other silver, we're going to attach those because I want them to cut as one piece. And then obviously the white's gonna cut by itself and the dark purple is gonna cut by itself. So now when I go to layer it, I'm going to have the purple is gonna be one layer, the silver is gonna be one layer, and the white is gonna be one layer. So now I'm gonna be doing three presses instead of five. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so now the file is ready. I'm going to, oops, let me go back. I'm going to highlight the entire file. I wanna make sure it's the correct size. So this is 12. I do need to make this a little bit smaller. It's going on to a large shirt. Well, it's like a large tank top. So I'm gonna do 9.5. Okay. My file is ready. So I'm gonna go over to make it. And I'm also really lazy. So I'm gonna put all of these on as little of mats as I can. So the dark glitter obviously um, needs to be on its own mat just because it's gonna be a different setting. So I'm gonna put that on a 12 by 12 mat and we do have to mirror that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mirror. This is my dark purple glitter here. This file is all set. It's on a 12 by 12 mat and it's mirrored. It's all set to go, okay? So for this one, we're gonna leave on the 12 by 24 mat. We're gonna go ahead and mirror this. This is going to be our white piece and I'm gonna leave it just like that. Actually, I'm gonna put this on a 12 by 12 as well. And we're just going to maneuver the pieces. Actually, you know what? No, nope, I may not be able to. Let's see. I'm gonna go to this piece here, which is a silver piece, and we're gonna move object to the white mat. Okay, yep, I'll actually be able to do it. Okay, so, come on, now I won't click, there we go. Okay, so this is going to be my white piece, this is going to be my silver piece, and I'm going to adjust the pieces of vinyl on the mat appropriately so that they cut the way they're supposed to. Um, this I just do this because I'm lazy and I don't want to have five different mats. Who has time for that? I don't, so I'm doing it this way. Okay, and then this is going to be our purple piece and we're going to put that down at the bottom. Now, this purple piece may not fit. So what I'm gonna do is turn this back into a 12 by 24 mat and then it should fit just fine. Okay, so this is going to be our purple piece. This is going to be our silver piece. And then this is going to be our white piece. Now, all you do is you're gonna put a piece of purple vinyl here, and obviously you're gonna cut it off like right underneath here around seven, the number seven. I'm gonna scoot this down a little bit so I know that my new piece, which is gonna be my silver piece, needs to start at eight. And then I'm gonna cut it off. I cut it off around like 14 and a half. And then this piece is gonna start at 16 and I'm gonna just gonna cut it accordingly, okay? So then what I'm gonna do, and then it's mirrored as well. And then our dark purple piece is also mirrored. But the reason why I didn't put this on this mat is because this is going to be cut on everyday vinyl. This has to be cut on glitter vinyl. It's a different pressure, so you don't want to mix those. So I'm going to go over to continue. And then, of course, um, like I said, make sure your mirror is on. I'm going to cut this on everyday iron on, shiny side up. Same with this. I'm going to cut this on glitter iron on, shiny side up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, get these cut out, and then we are going to... Um, press them together. All right, you guys. So I do have all of my vinyl cut out. And now what I'm about to do is we're going to prep the shirt. So what I like to do is I'm going to lint roll it. Now, normally, if I were to sell this shirt, I would do, you know, the method where you fold it in half so that you can find the center of your shirt. Um, this shirt is for me, so I'm not, I'm not going to do it. If it's not perfectly 100% centered, I don't care. 
Um, but if I were to sell this, I would fold it so I can find the center. But I'm going to lint roll it and then I'm going to go ahead and do a pre-press just to make sure we get all of the moisture out. I am using my 15 by 15 um, heat press by Heat Press Nation. I do have it set to 280 degrees with medium pressure. Okay. So here is all of my layers here. Obviously, I'm not going to press them all at the same time, but I did put them on top of each other just because I wanted to make sure that they all lined up correctly. So, the first layer I'm going to press is going to be my glitter, my black glitter, I mean, not black, my purple glitter here, okay? This is going to be my first press, so we're going to go ahead. And we're going to do this, the purple glitter. Normally you do it for like 30 seconds at 350, I believe. But because this is going to be pressed like four times, I'm going to keep it on the same temperature. It's going to get its full press. Don't worry. So the first one is just to kind of tack it down. So don't like rip your carrier sheet too fast. Okay. Now the next layer is going to be our purple layer. And what I think I'm going to do is cut this. There's a lot of transfer paper here. And I just want to make sure that I can line it all up. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. But I'm still going to press them both at the same time. Okay, now this goes on this side. So basically, you are just going to, this should line up perfectly. You're just going to go ahead, line it up. Same here. Okay, that looks good. You know what, I can... I can press my white piece. I want to do this in as little, the, um, the smallest amount of press as I can. So I'm actually going to press this white piece too. I'm just cutting off more of the carrier sheet so that we can go ahead and press this one as well. And this is the middle piece, which is the O. And then we're going to go ahead and line that up as well. Okay. And then the other two pieces will just line up like that. Okay. So this is going to be our first press. I don't, this purple piece here is exposed. I don't want that to get messed up. So what I'm going to do is just tear off a piece of carrier sheet and just cover it like that so that my purple glitter doesn't get ruined under the heat the direct heat okay now we're going to go ahead and press this medium pressure 280 degrees for literally just eight seconds okay and it is a hot peel Ooh. Look at that. So cute. Okay, and now we got to do our two gray pieces. And the same thing, I'm going to cut these. The carrier sheet, I'm cutting the carrier sheet down on these as well. All right, this is the, no, this is this piece over here. Okay. And then this is our last piece. So we only had to press these two twice instead of three times. And then that gets lined up like this. I don't want to line up. There we go. Okay, there we go.
There we go. And there we go. Now, I do want to protect my other pieces here. So same thing. I'm just going to take the carrier sheet from the scrap carrier sheet from the other pieces and I'm just going to place it on top so that nothing gets direct heat. It's all going to be covered with the carrier sheet. Okay, so now all the pieces are covered with the carrier sheet and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Press uh, firm pressure 280 for 8 seconds. Now we're going to remove these carrier pieces. Y'all, my metallic, it did this before. I'm probably going to have to press it again because the metallic one, I don't know. So the, I looked at the, um, I'm going to press it again. The, pe the um, settings on the metallic is the exact same settings as the other ones but it seems like every time i press the metallic one it doesn't press as easily as the other ones do so i don't need i don't know if those are the right settings or not see let me get the sticker the metallic silver gets 280 this says 10 seconds so i don't think two seconds really makes a huge difference but whatever i pressed it again and it also says hot peel but it just doesn't i don't know i haven't gotten this this silver down packed yet but that is super cute let me turn it so you guys can see I'm going to turn my ring light down. And then, can y'all see the puff? I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is puffed. The silver is puffed as well. Can y'all see that? That's so pretty. Super simple. Um, the hardest thing for me when it comes to puff is actually getting it to puff. I don't know why, but like <laughs> the actual getting it to puff part is probably the hardest part for me. But as you can see with the multiple presses, it did still puff. Hopefully you guys are, hopefully the camera is picking it up and y'all can see how puffed it is. Even the silver, can you see the, the silver puffed up? It's like it just takes a second for the silver to puff up. It doesn't puff up immediately. And then the white. Like I said, hopefully the camera's picking it up. But yeah, super simple, super easy. Just make sure when you're working with Puff, you definitely follow the instructions of whoever you purchased it from. But that is so cute. Um, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, bye guys.